When it comes to loudspeaker design or loudspeaker engineering, there's a topic that rears its ugly head, if you will, with frequency and regularity. It goes sort of in waves, but it does return time and time again. And I've spoke about this a number of times in previous videos, but I've seen it come up again recently and I'm not going to mention where, but the difference this time was that there was, you know, a, a, an industry insider or an actual designer who's come out um, and stirred up this topic. So what the heck am I talking about? Anechoic chambers. Why do we measure loudspeakers in anechoic chambers, which is not an environment that we listen to them in? Why are we not measuring loudspeakers in a listening room? And this um, member of the industry, and this was a press published article, you can probably Google it and look and figure out who I'm talking about here, um, essentially came out and said, yeah, you know, anybody who, you know, loudspeaker designers, you know, they, they, they use anechoic chambers kind of as a, a, as a crutch and uh, they're all missing the boat because you know they're not actually measuring speakers in a room which is the only place that you should measure them and some of the measurements that we pick up and some of the things we might focus on in an anechoic chamber uh, don't make any difference when we actually put the loudspeaker in the room well i'm just going to state for the record again why any decent loudspeaker designer engineer will always use some sort of an anechoic measurement whether that's a chamber whether it's a gated measurement to make the measurement look anechoic whatever it is there's a very very good reason we need a baseline that doesn't change if i measure this speaker in our listening room here at, at axiom audio how does that have any bearing whatsoever on your listening room or you, where you're going to set the pair of speakers up? How does that have any bearing whatsoever? We know, and I think all of you have probably experienced, the fact that the room pays, plays a huge part in the, the sound of a system. There's no denying that. But if I don't have a frame of reference to measure a pair of speakers, what I'm essentially doing is I, I may be designing my line of loudspeakers for my listening room, which again, like I said, has no bearing on what goes on elsewhere. So the number one reason why we measure in an actual certified anechoic chamber is to have a baseline where there is no influence from the room where we can look at detailed off-axis measurements of the loudspeaker, where we can do high precision measurements of distortion, phase response, other things like that. And that baseline is relevant. And why is it relevant? Well, it has been proven, scientifically proven, by Floyd Toole and his group of research, researchers at the National Research Council in Canada that there is a direct correlation between certain sets of measured performance measured in an anechoic chamber that translates directly to how the loudspeaker will be perceived or liked in a typical listening room. And when we say typical listening room, we're talking about an environment that covers a large percentage of typical listening environments. And like I say, this was conclusively proven through research, through years and years of research and thousands of tests and blind listening sessions. So that's why we do it. That's why a chamber is important. Can you get lucky? Can you, you know, by listening and tweaking by ear, can you make and design a pair of decent sounding loudspeakers just by doing it in a room, I'm sure that you can. But, you know, if you're a serious loudspeaker design company and you're serious about research and engineering and not just, 
you know, listening to make a speaker that has a particular flavor or a particular attribute, it's imperative that you use something that's a good baseline, a good reference for all your designs. And that, simply put, is an anechoic chamber or an anechoic environment. So I hate to harp on that again, but like I said, it does rear its ugly head every once in a while. And I'd love to hear your comments. Maybe you think I'm full of it. Maybe you think that, you know, yeah, we should be measuring loudspeakers in, in rooms. I'd just like to know what room. Should I come to your, your house and listen and, and measure in, in, in your particular room? And I will put a little caveat there before I finish up. Yeah, if you're a DIYer and you, you want to make a pair of speakers for yourselves, go nuts. Go do whatever, whatever you want. But, you know, we're in the business of making sure that, that our products sound as good as possible in a wide range of listening environments. And that's why we use that frame of reference. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing some of your comments and thank you for watching.